Many of you know I love my berries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, whatever. I love my berries. Uh, but recently I've been rethinking my strawberries. I've always thought the June bearing strawberries were the best and I still think they taste the best and produce the most. And I haven't had many ever bearing strawberries, but this year I put in a bunch of Quinault strawberries. I bought some bare root online uh, on Amazon, had them shipped here and uh, I'm really happy with it. These quinoles, this is the middle of August, and you can see I've got all kinds of red berries down here now that I get a chance to eat every morning when I'm doing my chores, even now in the middle of August, whereas the June bearing ones have been done for forever. So my plan is to start limiting my June bearing strawberries, some of my places, and spreading the quinault. The problem with that is you can up here you can see my June bearing strawberries. They have runners everywhere and I could start these and have strawberries covering an acre. Well exaggerating but I could have as much strawberries as I want. The one thing that I've noticed with the quinault strawberries um, I've been eating berries and eating berries and I went to put some planters and some good soil underneath the runners to, so I could transplant them and I cannot find any runners yet whatsoever and uh, that is um, a trait of the everbearing strawberries especially quinault but they should have some runners I'm hoping here in the next month or so we get some more runners started and I can have some more uh, starts but uh, I'm loving picking berries here in August I've been picking them for months and it's awesome. It's October 12th, getting really late in the year. Um, the amazing thing is we've still got blooms trying to start new fruit. We've got fruit that's just now getting started and we've still got red berries coming on. I'm still waiting for the runners to come out. This bush put off a runner and uh, I put a pot and it's grown here and it's rooted there. Another runner came there and this other runner here just started coming out and started putting out the leaves. I've placed a little planting box a pot underneath it. It's going to root in there and then I can transplant it wherever I want next year. So I'm hoping to see some more runners before it gets too cold. With these quinault everbearing strawberries, I'm still on October 12th pulling out nice red ones. Mm. They're still tasty, but they're not as sweet as the ones that were coming out in September or August to early September, not as much sunlight to really sweeten them up. Still good, but not quite the same as that summer sweet ones. To recap, I ordered the strawberries January 16th off of Amazon. This is the copy of the actual order. They came bare root and didn't look like much. This is them being planted on January 30th in the greenhouse, and then they improved to this on February 6th. And the video you saw is of the very same year me eating the strawberries.